my dearest listeners. God says, You will be astounded at the places, times and opportunities you will have to minister to others who are sick hurting and in need of my touch. You will reach and take it out and touch. Someone and it will be my hand and voice, speaking through you to bring deliverance and healing. Healing is not just for physical bodies, but also for individuals who are broken, in mind and spirit. It is in your power to utter the word that drives the serpent out of your life. And into the lives of people around you put the first couple in charge of tending and maintaining the garden. When the serpent raises its head, remember that the angels with flaming swords are not there to evict you but to destroy the work of the evil one and to carry out the rites that were confirmed on the cross on your behalf through the shed blood of Calvary. You will look at the things that don't, belong in your life in your family, and you will call on the angels with the voice of the Holy Spirit within you and you will prophesy over your family and over your home to order deliverance. Rise today into your blood boat share, cloak and deliverance. Set away every burdensome vice and distraction since this is the day that. The bars are broken, the gates are opened, and triumph is announced in your country. You will proclaim the word and people, will be restored to wholeness and hope for I am the God who confirms your hope. I need a touch in my own life. You may think to yourself, rise of beloved and step outside of yourself and your own needs to see what happens. See what I can accomplish not just for others but also for you. God says my promises in your life are creating and generating the breakthrough you desire. Refuse to devote your energy or initiatives to anything or anyone who acts or represents a contradiction to my promise. The adversary wishes to isolate you, the opposition wishes to isolate you from the very resources that will propel you forward and deliver you to victory. Put the cherished spirits to the test. What some refer to as discernment is mistrust and unbelief dressed up in religious trappings. Love is free of fear. Fear is cast out by perfect love. Unconditional love is totally, outstretched and completely at peace. Enter the rest that I have prepared for you. Forgive those who have angered you, forgive those you have mentally hold. To the judge's bench of imagined. Injustice. All paths lead to evil. Iniquity is worked by all hands. Every tongue contains ASP venom. The purification is situated at the foot of the cross. I have called you to preach my word, not your own limited experience. My word will become flesh on your bones and life in your body as you preach it. As you bear witness to my goodness, my goodness will be brought forth and made manifest. Go out and do for others what you've been waiting for someone to do for you refuse to wallow in self-pity or isolation. Type yes if you believe. God bless you.